she said yes. Yeah. <laughs> Making this thing happen. My baby. Yay, I'm so excited. God is so good. All the time. <laughs> you know, after Sierra and Russell Wilson announced their engagement, a lot of people been clowning Russell Wilson and Sierra. And you got people out here talking about, you know, Russell Wilson basically played Captain Save Ho. <laughs> you got people saying that Sierra is a hood rat and he shouldn't have done that. And then you got, you know, the, the, the mama boys out here that probably nine times out of ten didn't have any masculinity around or grew up in a single parent household basically pussy handling and agreeing with everything that these women say out here or basically taking Sierra's side. And then you got, you know, the guys out here that are just pissed off because they can relate to it from a personal standpoint. Now, I mentioned the other day for you guys that are friends with me on Facebook, if you guys are not a part of my Facebook group, link will be in the description box. But I announced that, you know, I really didn't give a shit, you know, <laughs> straight up. I really don't care. I think that's their personal decision. Um, despite what you think about Russell Wilson or uh, Sierra, hey, they getting married. At the end of the day, we got bigger fish to fry. And I wrote that on another YouTuber's um, video. I'm not going to put the brother out there or nothing like that. But, you know, I basically said that us as a people, we got a lot of things going on out here. And to be bickering back and forth with each other about this you know, it's it's irrelevant and, and it's a shame for us to even be doing that. But I've also expressed that I understand why a lot of guys have an issue with it. Now, now for the most part, you know, some women out here that, you know, think Russell kind of, you know, not making a good move here. But for the most part, women are in support of it. And I also said that, you know, hey, at least he's marrying a sister, you know, <laughs> because a lot of these guys, once they get to a certain level, they go creep out to these white women. There's certain, you know, different moving pieces to why that happens. But, you know, that's that's for another time or another video. But he is marrying a sister. And we, we have to be, we have to have, show some support because a black man and a black woman come together uh, as far as marriage and raising a family is not supported here in this country. It's always a lot of different things that's trying to tear us apart from, you know, racism, from welfare, from um, you know, a, a economical standpoint from employment, et cetera, et cetera. It's a lot of different things that tear us apart. So to see this, I'm always a support for two black people coming together, uh, loving each other and wanting to create a family. But that being said, like I said, I understand why a lot of guys have an issue with this. And the reason why I say this is because we have guys out here that, you know, uh, when, when, when guys make mistakes, especially black men, because we're always stereotyped to um, go around and, you know, create babies and don't take care of them, when really that's a lot of men and women in general, but it, it somehow gets placed on black men. But we take the hit for that. You know, we have that stereotype, black women get on our ass about it, um, black black men get on our ass on each other about that we take the hit from that a lot of us have to face up and, and take responsibility for that but with women and in society women are not taught to or forced to take responsibility for their actions and a lot of guys had an issue with this because here it is sierra she chose to be with future now I understand a lot of a lot of women out here saying you know she played uh, you know Captain Save a Baby Daddy with his children, but let's not forget Sierra chose to be with this man. Future already had impregnated I believe five, four or five other women with children. He didn't marry none of these women, but you still chose to be with that man. Okay, you chose to be with that man despite the, the decisions that he made. Then. When everything falls apart and, you know, they, they broken up or whatever, or they done singing and making these little videos together, now you got the two back and forth in the media on, on Twitter and Instagram and all that other bullshit, which I think people need to keep their relationships off of social media. But you got them going back and forth with each other. You got Sierra talking about Future doesn't pay child support. You got Future talking about that Sierra's keeping his children away from him. And it's just a, a big messy thing that they've, 
basically allow everybody from the general public to have an opinion about it because you guys did it on social media, which that's a conversation that you need to have behind closed doors. If you have issues with your woman or your man or, you know, your ex or whatever, you guys discuss that behind closed doors. That's not to be on Facebook. It doesn't matter whether you're a celebrity or, or what. That's something that you discuss behind closed doors. But because of that and because of the back and forth situation you got going on, a lot of people viewed Sierra in a different way because whether she started the altercation or whether Future started the altercation, here it is you're complaining about this man but at the same time you chose to be with him knowing his background you know it's no secret that um, you know Future likes to get high and you know sip all that syrup and shit it's no secret that he has a, 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 a tendency to impregnate women but not marry them and not sell them and actually have a family. And that is something that is very corrupted within our community. Us laying down with each other. And, and I want to put this out here. It's not just a black community, but it's more detrimental to us considering all the different other things that we have coming against us. But when we lay down with each other and we don't think and, and, and we don't say, okay, is this a person that I, I want to potentially have? Um, a child with? Is this some person that I want to build with? Is this some person that I could potentially build something with? We don't ask ourselves those questions. We put ourselves in bad situations. And then you have Russell Wilson that basically came in and swooped up, put on that cape, and I'm beyond. You know, he did somewhat put on a cape for Sierra. He came in, swooped up, and basically put this woman on a certain level not considering her previous actions. And a lot of women might say, okay, well, you know, we all have a past and et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, a lot of times women are not held to the decisions that they make. A lot of women, and a lot of my fellas can contest to this, we got women out here that will, will chase after, you know, the, the, the so-called bad boy or the guy that, you know, is getting the fast money or, you know, the flashy guy. The guy that has nothing of substance with him. And then when they get used up, when they get ran through, or they get tired of the situation, or they get bullet shot at him because of the lifestyle he's living, or they get caught up into something, now they want to run after the good guy. Now they, now they want to be treated like the wholesome queen or the wholesome angel that they believe that they are, when in reality, they made a lot of poor decisions that do not put them on that level. And when we have guys out here that, you know, swoop up, and, and also I said that, you know, I think it's a little early. Considering she just got out of a situation with Future, it's a little bit early to be putting on, putting a ring on her, brother. You know, I think you should have you should have held out on that a little bit. Get to know this woman a little bit more because I, I don't think you know somebody truly after less than a year, or even a year. It takes years to truly get a, a, a full understanding of who somebody is. And you never really understand who somebody is because people continuously grow. Life is nothing but a classroom and, and a classroom of knowledge. So you continuously learn things about your significant other and the world in general. But like I said, you know, I, I think that, you know, considering who Russell Wilson is and, and why a lot of guys took offenses I have an issue with and I want my women to understand this out here. Here it is, you got a guy, you know, stand up dude, came in, was a father figure to her, you know, her, her son, you know, has a good head on his shoulder, you know, the dude fucked up during the Super Bowl, but that's irrelevant. But here it is, you have a stand up guy that's basically putting on a cape for a woman that a lot of guys feel like doesn't deserve that. Why can't the woman of substance, the woman that makes the right decisions, the woman that isn't leaving, you know, uh, uh, children all around town without having that ring on her finger? Why isn't the, the, the woman who is a woman of substance getting that ring? And I think that's the, the issue that a lot of guys have with this whole situation because it's like, damn, dog, you know, you got a lot of women out here looking at this situation and they're getting their perception as if, oh, well, I can go out here, I can be a hoe, you know, I can make poor decisions, I can have, you know, a baby by uh, Jerome, Michael, and Tyrone, and it's all good. I'm still, I am still should be considered as that wholesome queen or, you know, that, that, that guy that I might have, uh, push to the side and say, you know, he didn't have this amount of money or he wasn't, he wasn't fly enough or the guy I just didn't want to give a, a chance to 
or the quote unquote nice guy, it's cool. Once I get done doing my little dirt or whatever I want to do or making my poor decisions, I can just go to that little quote unquote nice guy and I'm going to get a ring. So I want women to understand why. A lot of guys have an issue with this because this is something that goes on in society where a lot of guys are looked over. And I know part of it is a sense of um, entitlement. You know, a lot of guys feel like because they, they, they got the college degree or they're making a certain amount of money or they're quote unquote nice to a woman, women should be, you know, banging at their door trying to get women. And in reality, that's, that's not the way it is because a lot of guys don't factor in personality. A lot of guys don't factor that, you know, yeah, you might be a nice guy, but you just not might not be that woman's type. Okay, so, you know, I understand it from that perspective, perspective excuse me, but at the same time, this happens a lot. And, you know, I just think that us in general as the black community and people as a whole, we got to start making right decisions. You know, we, we have to start holding each other responsible for the decisions that we make you can't go out here and wreak havoc and then expect everybody to treat you like an angel or have the same opportunities or get treated a certain way simply because now you want to clean it up because you still left that impression and that mark in society now, I don't want anybody to miss and screw my words and, and, and take it as if I'm saying Sierra doesn't deserve a good man but also Sierra has to be held responsible for her actions. 